With the increased maintenance periods and requirement for fast servicing during pit stops and between sessions in motorsport, being able to disconnect our plumbing without spilling any fluid is a game changer. The most common place you'll see dry brake couplings used is when filling fuel tanks. In motorsport, every second counts, so minimizing the time spent filling the car in the pits is critical to success. Dry brake fuel fillers allow the operator to quickly insert the fuel filler into the port which initiates fuel flow into the vehicle. When the job is complete, the filler can be pulled out of the port without spilling fuel and creating a fire risk. The dry brake coupling is an automated mechanism that seals off each side of the plumbing when the line is disconnected. This looks like a sprung valve on each side of the connection that opens when pressed together. In the fuel filler system, the filler side is the male side and the vehicle side is the female. The other areas where dry brakes are beneficial are naturally those where we want to disconnect lines for servicing components but don't want fluid to leak out. For example, our brake lines. In some racing series, changing, removing or servicing calipers can become a regular occurrence. But if we want to remove the calipers, we have to disconnect the lines meaning we're going to need to re-bleed the system. This is a time-consuming process, but something we are likely going to have to do anyway. Regardless, spilling the extremely corrosive brake fluid is less than ideal, so preventing this could be worth the extra cost of dry brake fittings. High quality dry brake fittings that won't introduce air when connected and disconnected are necessary for brake and clutch plumbing. Otherwise, the system will need to be re-bled, which of course defeats the main purpose of the dry brake. Fuel lines in the engine bay are another common area for dry brake use for vehicles with regular engine removals for obvious reasons. For fuel and brake lines, these couplings will have some form of fitting on each end. For example, this could be an AN fitting on each side, or an ORB or banjo on one side, allowing connection of the plumbing lines directly to components. These fittings for brake lines are usually Dash 3 AN, which uses a 37 degree flare. This means a single flare, which isn't recommended for hardline fittings and brake line systems due to the risk of cracking and leakage. So using these couplings with a crimped AN fitting hose end attached to a flexible section of hose is the best solution. Let's look at an example of this part from a quality supplier called Stobley. We can see the male and female side of the coupling when forced together open the sprung valves. When the valves are open, the fluid can flow, and in this case, for the brake system, pressure can be transferred. A bayonet mount is used for quick and secure locking, allowing for fast connection and disconnection. These couplings will generally also use a swivel with O-ring seals, allowing it to be rotated in place without twisting the lines. In summary, dry brake couplings allow us to quickly connect and disconnect plumbing lines without spillage using an automated valve mechanism. These are commonly used when filling fuel, but are also helpful in the rest of our fuel system and brakes where the servicing is regular and the expense is justified. With a range of different fitting types, some extra planning can be required to get the most effective but safe installation. This was just one of the many modules taken from our motorsport plumbing course. In this course, you'll get up to speed on the fundamental knowledge of automotive plumbing systems and the components used in motorsport applications, and then use this knowledge to develop practical skills so you can design, build, and maintain quality plumbing for your race car. If you're interested in advancing your skills, this is the course for you. For more information and to purchase this course, click the link to enroll now.